I want to show you something. This is my two week paycheck stub for McDonald's, only $500. Many of my coworkers make even less. I want to show you something else. This is a receipt for my son's childcare, which was 100 a week. I also have to pay heat and water, which is $300. On top of that, I have to pay $500 for rent. I can't pay my bills and support my son off of the poverty wages that I make, even after five years working at McDonald's. That is why I'm here fighting for $15 and union rights. That is why we are all fighting for $15 and union rights. That is why tens of thousands of people marched in New York City on April 15th, in Los Angeles, in Atlanta, in Detroit, from Japan, to Brazil, even to garment workers in Bangladesh. You know, 50 years ago, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. marched along with 25,000 people from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. There he said, let us march on poverty so that no American parent has to skip a meal so that that children may eat. Let us therefore continue our triumphant march uh -huh. to the realization of the American dream. Today, I'm here to announce that we are continuing that march. Later this month, the 5 for 15 will march to the McDonald's shareholder meeting in Oak Brook, Illinois. That's where they decide what to do with their money. We've worked hard and we've walked a long path to get here. Now, it's time for McDonald's to make the right choice, to do the right thing for their workers. We're not marching alone. We're bringing one million signatures from people all across the country who stand with us. As Dr. King said in 1965, how long will it take? How long, not long. It's time to pay people enough to survive. How long, not long. It's time to pay people what they deserve. How long, not long. It's time for $15 and union rights. How long, not long. Because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. How long, not long.